In this planner, you'll also find an extra pages section. And this is where you'll find extra pages to copy and paste to your notebooks. I'm going to show you how to do this the right way. Click on the four squares on the top left. And you'll be brought to an overview of all pages in this file. It's super important that you don't remove the original files. Because this could mess up the linked tabs. So click on duplicate. Press and drag the page to where you want it. You can duplicate and drag the extra pages as many times as you'd wish and you can use this notebook forever. Same goes for the planner pages. Don't remove original pages, just duplicate and drag to where you want it. You can remove the duplicated pages, but just make sure it's a duplicate before you do so. This is the extra pages I just duplicated and you can see the links to other pages still work. And you can see that it's on the first page just like I wanted it to be. It's also possible to copy pages from other planners or files. This is the undated digital planner from my shop and it's in landscape format. Again, go to the four squares, choose the page you'd like to copy. I want a daily planner and I'll go to this page. Click on the three little dots and choose copy page. Go back to the other planner, click on the plus icon and before pasting, make a choice where you'd want this page to be pasted to. Now it's pasted into my new planner and I can drag it to where I want to use it. Make sure to watch part 4 to see a fun trick I use with split view on my iPad.